to our channel. Hold on one second. You can say hi. Today we are going to use a new press that Patrice sent me from Craftable Things. Thank you very much. It was it's awesome to get it pressed. Um, also, I've got some AJ blanks, 100% um, polyester ruffle shirts. We're going to sublimate tie dye and sublimate a picture on these. And that's not all. We also are going to sublimate on these simple little tote bags because Lily's birthday is tomorrow. And these are going to be the gift bags for the goodies for the kids for coming and come and hang out with Lily because it's all about gymnastics this year for her. So, you guys are interested. Hi. Hi. All right, you guys. While we wait for the heat press to warm up, I wanted to tell you what I am using. I am using, uh, oh, you can't really see the name of it. They put the sticker on it. Um, this is Hypo um, Sublimation Paper. I got the 125G. This is an eight and a half by 11 paper. I do have some Hypo 13 by 19 also that I used. I run a Epson Workforce 7210. It's, I have to remember saying that again. And then the press that I'm using today, excuse that, it happened. And what, Epson? Hold on one second. She's watching my computer. Um, it's called a Vever, Vivor. I don't know how you say it. But anyways, that is the name of the press. It's got a 15 by 15 platen. And let's see, what else am I using? I am using butcher paper from Sam's Club. It's a huge roll, so it's the best place to get it. Who was it? Um, Liz from Coffee Powered Home. She told me about it. That's where I got it. So all these people I'm dro name dropping, I will put their YouTube links down in the description. Please go check them out. Subscribe and binge watch all their videos because they're awesome and they deserve it. All right. While this gets done warming up, I'm going to go help Evelyn before she tries to figure out how to use my computer. <laughs> I will be back when this is warmed up and we'll get going, you guys. This is exciting. You guys, I am back. My heat press, I have it up to like 370. It gave me a range of what we could put it on. So let's put it at 370. Um, it's kind of in between. I am first going to press it, just get some um, moisture out of it. This is for Evelyn. I'm just going to press it a little bit. I think that probably should be, oh wait, actually I need to, actually I think the pressure is almost perfect. I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit more. Ooh. Oh jeez, this platen moves, it's really weird. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna first do a, we're gonna do a tie dye. So I'm gonna tie dye the back first. Um, or yeah, sublimate tie dye. And people like to scrunch it up so we're gonna scrunch it up a little bit. Um, I myself do. I'm not. I am not really going to put um, tape on this one. Not for the first tie dye of it. Um, this is what we're tie dyeing. Isn't that pretty? So I'm just going to put it on here like this with another piece of tra um, not transfer, <laughs> oh, butcher paper. And this is the back of her shirt. Um, I already lint rolled it. Yes, Evie, good job. All right, let's press this. <laughs> And it's going to go for about 35 seconds. And I'm getting my tape because when it comes to her um, front picture, I would like to tape it. So this is Evie's shirt. So this is a five, um, a five T. So fingers crossed this turns out. 
I'm hoping it turns out. I mean, it's, it should be all right. If it doesn't, I mean, this is just, I'm not like selling these. These are just for my kiddos. And they're awesome because they, they will wear them for mommy no matter what. <laughs> This one, that's garbage. That looks pretty cool. Pretty good on transfer. That is pretty bright, you guys. I don't know if you can see how nice that looks down there. Zoom you in a little bit. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness, it's kind of like stained glass mosaic or something oh my goodness so exciting all right now we need to turn it over so we're gonna back it up a little bit and we're gonna put a new piece on the plant on the bottom this is where it's gonna be tricky this is my first time doing this you guys so fingers crossed um, videos I watched, um, let's see here, I might want a bigger piece of, put your paper on the bottom of that, hold on a second, uh, there we go, just that the little, um, the little sleeves are hanging off, I really don't want it to um, hurt it. So I'm not pressing the picture right yet. Here's the picture. Lily's is gonna be the same. It says eat, sleep, train, gymnastics. I just found it online. Um, I'm just borrowing it for my kids. If it is a design that's an Etsy or something, I will gladly buy it. Um, if anybody ever wants this, you know, if they're going to want me to put this design on anything. But for personal use, I don't think it will be too bad of a thing. So we don't want this middle covered. So I printed two of these off for the girls. So we're going to rip pieces of it. of the um, tie-dye, uh, but I want tie-dye on here for the girls on the front. Okay. Evie, please don't make a mess. She's playing with her, her slime. I really don't want her making a mess. So I just want a little bit more like on, on the sleeves and on the little down here on the front ruffle. All right, now let's cover it up. And this is not, I already, I took the other design off because we don't want that yet on there. All right, if I'm doing something wrong, please don't come at me. Point it out a little bit. Let me know. Well, this is fun, you guys. I, this is cool. I have another press upstairs. It's a 15 by 15 also. Almost the same thing, a, um, the plantains are not removable. I believe this has where it can have attachments put to it. This didn't come with attachments, but it's kind of cool. Just in case I want to do get some, I can. This, I believe, came off Amazon. They, This company sent it to Patrice. And I was a lucky winner. So I was pretty excited. All right, you guys. Let's see. All the little, the little blotchies. I just wanted a little bit, those are a little toasty. A little bit on the front. Oh, we got some right there, but it's all right. And some right there. But you guys, it's all right. I'm not too, too worried. Now, I gotta put the picture here. <laughs> try and decide if I should, oh, should I try to smooth it out first? 
or if I should just put the picture on. So I don't like these little wrinkles. You know what I mean? Hold on, let me shake it. That is one little Daddy, hot little shrimp. Yeah. Please don't get it on Mama's computer. Okay. Actually, I'm going to hang the little foofy dress part off now. These might have to get fluffed in the dryer before the party tomorrow. All right, you guys. I am going to press it for a few minutes, a few seconds. See if I can get some of the, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, wrinkles out. Just for a few seconds. That probably be all right to reuse. Maybe we'll see. And yeah, I'm gonna wanna put a little piece on the inside. So actually we'll fold this in half. And we'll put it on the inside. I forget about that. We don't want this image um, seeping through to the other side. And yeah, I know that it's transferring on the back a little, but that's fine. But yeah, it smoothed it out a little bit here. So we're going to put this right here. See, the little splotches kind of got in the way, but that's all right. Actually, we'll move it down a little bit onto her tummy. Don't want it right up on her neck where you can't see the see it. Now, if I can get her to wear it tomorrow, it'll be a whole other thing. And this time I am taping it down. Because I don't want it to move. There we go. Just a little bit. I don't really believe it needs a whole bunch of tape. Everything's covered. Mommy, that one's not big enough. Yeah. Um, maybe no more, please. Okay. Alrighty. She's being a good girl. I don't mind her having fun, but I really don't want slime over everything. Alright, you guys. Fingers crossed. It should turn out nice, though. There we go. go. Alright, no more, please. Eve. No more, okay? I don't want that getting anywhere where it can't come off of there. This one would go on the inside of Lily Bugs. I do hers. Oops. Oh, that is hot. I know they may keep gloves, but I have still not gotten any. I don't know what that is right there. But there we go, you guys. I don't know what caused that. Probably uneven pressure. Uh, most likely user error. But that's fine. They're gonna, she's gonna love it. So here we go, you guys. And then here's the back of it. What's Evie think? Hold on a second. Let me turn to see the Evie. What do you think, Eve? What do you think? Tell the camera what you think. Yeah, good. We like it. We like it. All right, now we need to make lilies. I'll see you when I get that done. You guys, here's lilies. Lilies has that weird area too. I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't know. Maybe I don't have it on long enough. Uh, but either way, I mean, it'll be fine. She's going to like it. So that's what hers turned out on the front. And this is her back. So now i got to get ready to do 12 treat bags. 
I'll be back. Guys, so the little bag is here. I put a piece of butcher paper on the inside. So I'm gonna put it this way where the handle's gonna hang off, be a little less issue. And then we're gonna put the same thing, but smaller on her bags. Just kind of eyeball it. About right there. Um, I've never done these kind of bags, so hopefully it'll be all right. I'm gonna burn them up. You will see. Evie went and got another Kool-Aid drink after I told her no. Goofy kid. Yep. All right, you guys, there we go. And I have a folded piece of butcher paper um, only because I don't want to waste. It's folded in. So we're going to press it the same as the shirt. It doesn't have very much pressure on it, so maybe I have a pressure issue um, with the black. I don't know. Or it's too long. Maybe it's too hot. We'll figure it out. It's fine. But I wanted to show you guys the little tote bags real fast. And then once I get it all done, we'll have a little review of what I did. Um, hopefully this is kind of entertaining and a little bit of a learning with me because I watch a lot of videos, so... Um, it, it's, it's fun experimenting and sublimation is just, itself is pretty cool. Oh, wow, that didn't turn out very good. I melted the bag. Huh, well that's a bummer. <laughs> okay, don't do that, even though they say they're for sublimation. Don't use them. It did sub on it though. Well, the bags are going to be kind of boring, so I don't have time to decorate them. <laughs> okay, other than that, you guys. All right, well, we're not going to be doing those. And I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to have to figure out how to clean my platen, brand new, and, and now it's a mess. All right, you guys, so I am going to... All right, you guys, well, I'm back. Don't do that, even though they say... They're for sublimation. They said they're sublimation on on Amazon, but they do not. They do not. They don't sub. <laughs> That's all right. They're still nice bags. Um, sadly, they're white. Maybe I can tie dye them. I don't know. I thought they said they were polyester. But anyways, you guys, as a recap, hypo ink and a hypo paper with my Epson 7210. Yeah, I think that's what it is. <laughs> Workforce. Um, they are not perfect, but you guys, this is so fun. This is so fun. I don't know what happened to my black. I'm wondering if I had too much heat. I don't know. It doesn't feel any different, but I am so happy with them, you guys. I'm excited. I'll hopefully be able to put some pictures on um, Discord and stuff of my daughters wearing them. Um, I would like to get this video out before tomorrow, so I most likely won't have them on there. But cool, you guys. This is fun. You have to try sublimation or pay somebody to print you some so you can do it, even if you don't want to go get a printer or you cannot at this time. This is cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, until next time, please keep on crafting. Thank you. Good night.